Okay, so as the White House transitions from one administration to the next, the next question remains, who replaces Vice President-elect Kamala Harris on the U.S. Senate? ABC 10, Zach Fuentes is live outside the state capitol. And Zach, there's one group that's looking for some representation right now. Kirsten, that is right. We have several groups coming out today for press conferences around the state calling for Governor Newsom to appoint a Latino or Latina person to fill Vice President-elect Kamala Harris's seat. Now, remember, as a senator, she made history being the first black and Asian senator, female senator, to be uh, on the Senate, the California State Senate. But there has never been representation by a Latino or a Latina in the U.S. Senate, even though uh, nearly 40 percent of Californians are Latino. So what these uh, groups are calling for is someone here in the state to represent Californians as a Latino or Latina in the state Senate. Now, the groups holding today's press conferences say it's now time to make history again by doing that. Now, we have already talked about some of the contenders that Governor Newsom could choose. Here's who political strategists are talking about. They say uh, Karen Bass, who served as the Speaker of the California Assembly before her election a decade ago to the House of Representatives, also California Attorney General and Sacramento native Javier Becerra, and Secretary of State Alex Padilla, who has been in that role since 2015. Now, whoever the governor chooses, he has to do that by January, and that person would fill Kamala Harris's term that was supposed to last through 2022. Now, the press conferences are happening around the state at 11 a.m. The one here locally is going to be at Cesar Chavez Park. We plan to be at that and bring you the latest in Extra Shot. All right. Thank you for being on top of that story for us.